received a call from them, someone in um, Syria um, explaining that she, Khadija, had been killed in an airstrike and it was thought to be a Russian airstrike. Well, they're very obviously devastated. There's, there's nothing um, worse than finding out that your sibling or your family member has been killed. And by all accounts, she was a, a young girl with a very, very promising future. And it's a great loss to, to, us, to, to us all, really. Um, every effort was made from the very beginning to try and avoid this, this fateful news. Uh, and despite all efforts, it's unfortunate that we find ourselves with a loss of a young life and a very promising life at that. The problem with that was that the risk factors around leaving are quite terminal also, in that if ISIS were to detect and capture you, then their, um, their punishment was quite brutal for, for trying to leave. And the week where she was thinking about these issues, an Austrian, young Austrian girl, she'd been caught trying to leave ISIS territory and was, by all reports, beaten to death publicly. So given that that was circulated in, in the region as well as outside, um, I think Khadija took that as a bad omen and decided not to take the risk, really. And why did she want to leave? Well, um, I think she found out pretty quickly that um, the propaganda doesn't match up with the reality, really. Um, she'd, made, she'd made some inquiries and some plans of her own volition, but uh, those came to naught in the end, really.